Hi, it's me, old Cyclops. Yes, the bike on my bike, uh, bicycle, uh, the light on my bike is still burned out. So I'm using this here headgear to make me look totally stupid. And, and I enjoy it a lot. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm across the street from uh, the apartments where I live on International Drive. Over here, they got a, some interesting stuff. Uh, what's this over here? Here, the Chocolate Museum. I'm afraid this video is probably backwards. For some reason, this camera takes videos backwards. I haven't been able to figure out how to turn it around. There's a little shopping over here, a shopping center. And uh, over here, there's a place uh, right where I see. Where are we at? Can you see it? This would be here. Where's my finger at? Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Right there, that's the, uh, the Yummy Express. Yummy Express. Yummy Express. I don't know what's so yummy in there. I need to check it out sometime. The Chocolate Museum. And, uh, you know, there's a gift shop over here somewhere. Uh, right there. There's a gift shop. A little further up here, there's a Golden Corral. Uh, well, it's, it's, uh, where is it? Where the heck is it? I think it's way over here. It's, it's over here somewhere. Anyway, it's, it's kind of been a really nice day. I mean, he did thunderstorm for a couple of hours uh, earlier. Yeah, there you go. There's that chocolate shop. The chocolate museum and the escape effect. What is the escape effect? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's, uh, speaking of escaping and escaping from reality, guess what happened, folks? Up in a, a can, 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 cannabis, cannabis, up there in Canada, uh, somehow uh, someone, uh, I guess a bunch of folks voted, and they decided to uh, legalize uh, cannabis. Right, that's marijuana for you folks who don't know what the heck, you know. Don't, don't make the same mistake. And I don't know if it's true or not, but I saw on Facebook that... There was a typo, there was a typo, Vardo, somebody typed in a computer, you know how the spell check changes things? And they put in cannabis, but it came out cannibalism. So this bill that legalized uh, cannabis, theoretically, in uh, uh, Canada, actually legalized uh, cannibalism. It came out cannibalism on the bill. So I hope they fix that. Else, you know, a lot of really weird people, spaced out zombie folks, are going to be heading up to Canada, you know, to celebrate their their newfound freedom. And, you know, my understanding is that cannabis will make you very hungry, so if they're, if they're already cannibals and they're very, very hungry, you gotta get out of their way. I mean, that's, there's no doubt about it. So we're riding by the, uh, the apartments and the lakes and stuff on I Drive here. You know, and, you know, there's the palm trees and everything and all the traffic because it is a busy road. road. And I hope you guys can uh, understand me uh, well because I know that, you know what, cars seem to make a lot of noise. I don't know whose idea that was. Maybe if everybody had electric cars, maybe they wouldn't make as much noise. So anyway, yeah, they're up there in Canada and they, uh, they legalize uh, cannibalism or, or they legalize uh, cannabis. So cannabis is legal there. Now in the state of Florida here, they legalized recently, uh, last year I believe, legalized uh, marijuana for medicinal purposes. Uh, but they didn't legalize the, uh, you know, the leaf and the smokable form. I think it's some sort of an extract. And I don't know, they use it for people with glaucoma or whatever. So uh, it's not what I guess, you know, the, the freaky people here are really looking for. They want what they have in Canada, which is like totally free and legal marijuana. And uh, I'm not sure what the laws are well, in California. I mean, California and Canada. But there are some places where marijuana is really free and legal where you can go out and smoke it in public and this and that. So there's a bunch of stone people running around celebrating their uh, newfound rights. Yep, yep, yep. Now I gotta get past this guy up here, okay? There's somebody up here with a shirt on with a tan on the back. I don't know, but we're going to get ready for a rough spot here. We're also passing by an alligator lake. Uh, there are gators over here sometimes. So here I go. Here we go. Yep, yep, yep. I'll 
Okay, we got past that guy. If he's in the background, they probably give you a photo bomb me or whatever. That's okay. This is his chance if he wants to do it. So yeah. Oh uh, yeah. So it did rain, but the clouds are clearing, and it's it's nice and it's beautiful out here. Uh, I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy about it. Pretty excited. Uh, we're going to get back to the cannabis thing, but first I want to cross this street. When I get across this street without getting, uh, you know, run over. Yes, I think I have it under control, folks. There's a helicopter up here somewhere. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm just holding the phone out. Hoping for the best. Yeah, so, I just remember that song back in the 1960s. And, uh, you know, as things are, you know, liberals and conservatives all at each other's throats and everything, I remember uh, this song from a well-known conservative, Merle Haggard. <laughs> we don't smoke marijuana in Muskogee. We don't take our trips on LSD. Excuse me, folks. We don't burn our draft cards down on Main Street. Remember draft cards, folks? Because we like living right and being free. Leather boots are still in style for manly footwear. Beads in Roman sandals won't be seen. Football's still the roughest thing on campus. And the kids here still respect the college dean. I'm proud to be an Okie from Muskogee. A place where even squares can have a ball. We still wave old glory down at the courthouse. The white lightning's still the biggest thrill of all. <laughs> Thought I'd share that with you folks. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you don't, the heck with you. But if you smoke more of that cannabis, you'll like it better. Because it makes everything sound better. That's my understanding. I have enough. Uh, I haven't partaken of this substance in many, many years. Yes, I did. I mean, yeah, I'm not going to say I never did it, but I, of course I did it. But I did it when I was a whole lot younger, right? So, you know, I mean, it's been a long, long time. When I was in college, you know, back in the, ooh, I was in college back in 1974 to 1976, those days. First of all, I had better hair. This is pissing me off. I'm taking this off for a few moments. It's not even dark yet. Hi, look how much better I look. Well, I look like a beetle haircut now. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, where were we? Yeah. I, yeah, I smoked pot when I was younger. When I was in my 20s and stuff. But I, uh, the thing was, you know, well, back in those days, everybody was like, there was a lot of drugs going on. Especially in college and stuff, it was really hard uh, to get through college and being you know stoned all the time and so I, I didn't I didn't finish I didn't finish cause you know it was a big party scene I came out of high school I had no idea what I was in for I thought I was gonna go become an English teacher but instead I I became this hippie uh, party guy and uh, that lasted for a little while long enough for me to drop out of college after two and a half years now years later I, I redeemed myself I worked hard I've done well no matter despite that and I, I did a I, I was in an audio engineering school, and I passed there at the top of the class, and, you know, I've done various stuff, and without the degree, and I'm okay. I'm happy about it. I, uh, I'm not going to say I have no regrets. Uh, oh, I've done so much stupid stuff when I was younger. Oh, my gosh. When I was in my 20s, when I was in my teens. Oh, my gosh, was I ever stupid. I look back, it's like... Somebody else did it. You know, these things that happen, it's like someone else did them. I, mean, I did crazy stuff. Sneaked out of my house at night, went out partying with a bunch of guys. Partying had a lot to do with it, you know. Um, so, you know, yeah, it's, it's better to kind of, you know, stay focused and, and this and that, you know. I have a beer here and there, but it's better to stay focused um, instead of being bleary and um, out of touch with reality. 
which brings us back to Canada. <laughs> now, I'm not sure why they legalized it up there. Uh, everybody started, it started all with medicinal purposes, okay? Uh, cannabis was good for this, it was good for that. Glaucoma is just one thing I mentioned, but there's other stuff. Everything from a cancer treatment to pain a treatment to oh my gosh what else did they say out there you guys you guys could throw me some uh, some hints here you know i can't see your comments right now so if you're commenting uh sorry i'm not responding i'll respond later okay uh you know once i get finished with this video i can look at all the comments but yeah medicinal reasons you know obviously quite obviously in, you know, in California, in anywhere where cannabis has become legal, quite obviously, all that stuff is a, all that stuff about, you know, medicinal purposes is a, well, a smoke screen. It's a smoke screen. It's, it, the, the real reason is because people want to get high. They do. They, they want to get high. They want to chill and relax and, you know, and, and enjoy themselves. And they don't want the government to interfere. A government interference is um, not not a good thing in so many ways. In so many ways, government interference is not a good thing. Government is not the answer to everyone's problems, folks. You know, whether your problem is you want to get high, or uh, you know, you're you're unemployed, or you know, you're not happy with the social and political situation in this country. Government is not the answer always. You got to. Uh, Sometimes you just gotta, well, you gotta, you gotta do what you feel is right now, but there comes government saying you can't do this, it's not right, and we're gonna, we're gonna arrest you, and we're gonna throw you in jail. I don't think they should arrest people, throw them in jail, you know, just for smoking a joint or whatever. I mean, you know, that's an old, old uh, discussion that goes way back, but uh, I do think that there are plants that are put here on this earth that God put here on this earth. God put certain plants here, certain substances, and they're here, you know, yeah, for medicinal reasons perhaps, for food, um, for decoration. There's lots of reasons for, you know, plants to be here, but herbs in particular are, I think God put things here for us to discover them, to use them in a wise way. And, uh, I think that, you know, it's taken us forever. God knew it would take us time. God is a very, very patient God. And he knew it would take us time to discover all these plants um, and, and discover their medicinal uh, properties. And God knew that uh, eventually we would learn the pros and the cons of certain herbs. You know, whether they were good for headaches uh, or whether, you know, whatever. But there's a lot of different, you know, there's a lot of different plants. There's a, like, what is it, ginkgo biloba or ginkgo biloba that's good for concentration and focus. And, you know, there's a lot of some ginseng, um, increases your overall health and well-being and uh, promotes energy. But there's a lot of different plants out there. And I think that God put them here for a reason. He did put them here for us to discover them and learn about them. Uh, I do not think that God put the plants here for us to abuse them to abuse our bodies. I think that God wants us to be wise and um, use these plants uh, in a proper uh, way, a proper medicinal, okay, medicinal, yeah, but um, the right way and, and not to abuse things. You know, because abuse leads to self-destruction. And I don't think uh, self-destruction is a darn good idea. We got to take care of ourselves, so we got to be wise and everything. And uh, you folks up in Canada, uh, God bless you, and uh, do what you think is right. There's a, there's a thing, in, there's a place in the Bible somewhere where God, uh, someone in the Bible, is referring to uh, certain Sabbath days and holy days, and. The Bible says, uh, well, some people say you should observe certain days, and some people sh should say, no, you should observe other days. He said, the Bible says, let every man be fully convinced in their own mind. 
So, whatever it is that you believe strongly about, be fully convinced in your own mind. Think it through and be wise. And uh, be smart about what you do in life. Don't, don't, you know, don't abuse drugs. Don't abuse anything. Don't hurt other people. Take care of yourself. Take care of your own body. Um, and uh, yeah, I, mean, I, I could keep, I could keep right on uh, citing uh, religious references here. Maybe some of you will be offended, you know, if I keep mentioning that. But I'm, I'm sorry, why the heck with you? But God's. <laughs> Uh, the Bible does say that the body is the temple of God. Would God be ingesting harmful substances? Or would be God be ingesting the substances and get you to go crazy, lose your mind? I don't think so. I don't think that's what God is all about. Now, having said that, I don't condemn or judge anybody. Uh, because once again, uh, you have to be fully convinced in your minds, in your mind, uh, that you're doing the right thing. And, of course, there are substances that are antidepressants, uh, that antipsychotic, there's uh, anti-this, anti-that. But God doesn't want us all feeling rotten. And, again, I think that's why he gave us medicinal plants, not medicines, because medicines are created by man. But God created medicinal plants. And maybe there's a, sure, I'm sure there's plenty that we haven't discovered that we don't know the properties of that can really be helpful, perhaps even leading to a cure for cancer or, or other uh, uh, previously uh, heretofore uncurable diseases. Uh, I think the answers are out there, out there in the plant kingdom. I think the answers are out there. I think God left us the answers. They're there, somewhere in the forest, somewhere amidst the trees and the plants. Somewhere is the answers to perhaps all of mankind's ills. And uh, we've discovered so much, we've discovered so much, but I believe there's still yet more to be discovered. really a blast as a humanity, as uh, the people who habituate this planet, we, we're just, we're really blessed. Uh, everything we need has been provided for us here. A never ending cycle of seasons and, uh, and all the things that we need, the climate, the sunlight, the water, and everything we need uh, to live a good and happy and long life is here. And we keep searching for more that has yet to be revealed, but it will be revealed, it will be. I'll let you guys go. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, remember, be wise, do the right thing. Have a great day. Bye-bye.